to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name's Josh and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2016 built model year 17 Mitsubishi ASX LS. Now starting at the front I'm going to walk you through the vehicle, show you some of the features and the overall condition as well. At the front end as you can see the ASX does have a nice pointy shark nose kind of design at the front. It is a beautiful looking front end with the Mitsubishi badging right in the middle. Now condition wise, the front end does actually present really well for its age and kilometers. There are a few stone chips along the bonnet which we have touched up for you. However, overall condition does present really well. You've got nicely shaped headlights there with the projector beam in the middle and down the bottom here I've also got the fog lights. Now making our way along to the first alloy wheel, you do get a beautiful set of alloys in this. The chrome finish with the gunmetal back does give it a very clean look. The tyres on this vehicle are almost brand new actually at the time of this video and condition wise along the side of the vehicle also presents really really well. I am being super super picky, I actually can't fault the side of the car at all. We've got the chrome garnish on the side here that does add a little bit of personality to the side of the vehicle. You've also got the color match side mirrors and door handles. Now, the, in the ASX, when you lock and unlock the vehicle, your side mirrors do fold in and out automatically, so that is great to know, and your indicator is just built into the side mirror there. If we take a look in the inside now, the seat bolsters are in great condition, so always new, very, very well looked after, and the seats are a beautiful design as well. Now, if we pan down to the scuff guards, where people tend to kick this and damage the paintwork getting in and out of the car, that's actually got very minimal damage there at all. And even the door trims, where people tend to get lazy and kick their doors open getting in and out, there is also minimal wear along there. Now, the back windows are actually privacy glass in this. Now, that is not window tint. It is a dyed glass. However, if you would like to match the front with some uh, premium window tint please do talk us talk to us about it because we do have some very very suitable options if we have a look at that next wheel once again great condition there and in terms of where there are a couple of very slight superficial scratches but you do have to look quite hard to even see them once again brand new tires on the back there as well now along the back end of this vehicle you can see you've got the high mounted stoplight you've also got the rear washer and wiper there is a tow bar fitted to this ASX if you did need to tow anything. And you have also got the reverse parking sensors and reverse camera just to help you park or even back up to a trailer. Now, in the back end, the ASX does come standard with the cargo shelf. So if you wanted to keep everything in the back, you've got the option or you can just remove that altogether. You've got a genuine set of mats in this vehicle plus your boot liner to keep the carpet underneath that nice and clean. Tow bar is just in the side there and if you have a look underneath, you do get that full size spare. Now, it is a steel wheel, however, it's not your uh, standard little space saver. If we keep making our way along to the uh, passenger side of the vehicle now, once again, condition wise, it is very consistent all the way through this car. Has been very, very well looked after, and the paint does present in beautiful condition. Fuel filler cap is on the passenger side, being the safe side, and that next wheel, once again, is in great condition. And that one is actually completely. Uh, almost completely unmarked, I'm just being super picky there. You've got great condition on those tires as well. Now, if we keep making our way along the paintwork, as you can see in this beautiful sunlight, you would be able to spot absolutely everything. However, I am actually struggling to fault this car on both sides. That next wheel, once again, is in great condition. Uh, there is a spider web there. However, in terms of condition, that is very, very slightly marked, but once again, nothing too inconsistent with the age or kilometers. So as you can see, guys, a very well presented ASX and value for money. This is an awesome, awesome pick. So if you have any questions about the car, please ask us. But overall condition, I'd highly recommend you ask us about the glass coat and how we're going to help you preserve your paintwork. We're also going to tie in some window tint for you. So uh, speak to us about those options. But for now, let's take a look under the bonnet. Taking a look under the bonnet now, what we have is Mitsubishi's four cylinder two liter Myvec engine. So similar setup what you would find in a Lancer. And if you know the history of a Lancer, you know these are great engines, very reliable and easy to maintain as well. In terms of the specs of this vehicle, it is a five star ANCAP safety rating with seven airbags. So you know you're gonna be nice and safe in your new ASX. The power output from the engine is 110 kilowatts with a torque rating of 197 newton meters. Fuel tank holds 63 litres and you can run it on just your standard 91. It is 7.6 litres per 100 with an average fuel distance of about 829 kilometres from a full tank. 
So having a look inside the ASX now, you do get your power window controls on the driver's side here. The front driver's side is automatic up and down. Your central locking buttons are above that and your window lock and the toggle for your power mirrors once again is on the door. Now on the right hand side of the steering wheel you have got the level adjuster for your headlights so you can change the angle if you wish. But also got your traction control and your parking sonars as well as a blank button if you wanted to add anything extra. The right hand stalk has got your indicators, headlights and fog light controls. And the left hand stalk here has all your washer and wiper controls. You do get a nice leather wrapped steering wheel in this vehicle with cruise control on the right hand side here and all your media functions and hands free call functions on the left. Now having a look in the center display now you do get a nice touch screen display with AM and FM radio, digital radio, you've even got your Bluetooth input as well as USB and AUX options. For those of you who still use CDs or know what CDs are, you have a CD port in this vehicle as well. There are also a few shortcuts to uh, set your clock as well as the hard buttons along the edges. Down the bottom you've got the climate controls. You can just set the temperature with the one on the left, set the other two to auto and it will just regulate that temperature. Down the bottom there is some storage if you wanted to maybe keep your phone. There's a compartment just behind the shifter. Now that is not a cup holder so I wouldn't recommend putting a cup in there but if you did want the portable air ashtray option with Mitsubishi you can actually stick one in there. Down here you've also got a 12 volt socket. Now the shifter itself you can, I'm just going to put it in reverse quick here, show you the rear uh, camera so you can see the rear bumper in there so it makes it very easy when you are backing up to a uh, trailer but with the shifter you can drive it as a standard auto or bump it to the right and into sports shift and switch through your gears manually. Got two cup holders here, a hard handbrake and a fabric center console with two parts so the first part you can keep your phone in there and run a cable down the bottom and the second part you have got a USB input there uh, I was mistaken, there is no AUX input in this vehicle, but you do get a 12 volt socket as well. Now, if we quickly just pan around the interior, you will notice it is in great condition. So, very, very well looked after inside and out by the previous owners. Even the roof lining is in great condition. A couple of very slight marks if I am being picky, but nothing too major. What we're going to do now, guys, is jump outside and wrap up the video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful ASX. As you can see, it has been very well looked after. Now, something we are going to talk to you about anyway is the glass coat and tint I mentioned earlier. We'll offer you a lifetime warranty on your paintwork, plus give you the uh, UV and heat reduction benefits that tint offers as well as the safety aspect of tint as well please do talk to us about these options because it is a great way to keep your car protected the other thing we will talk to you about is a premium mechanical protection plan it's going to give you another five years of cover on 181 electrical and mechanical components of the vehicle you also get up to 10 years of premium roadside assistance nationwide unlimited claims for the term of the contract and $3,600 per claim is what we'll cover you for so it's a great way to keep your car protected and make sure that the mechanicals and electricals of your vehicle are covered now if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to ask us if you need finance options our business managers would love to talk to you about your finance options tailor a package to suit your needs work in all those extras for you as well and being a Mitsubishi dealership we may even be able to help you get some accessories on your vehicle if you have any questions, the number to dial is 990-70555, but before I go, please have a look at our Google reviews. Get to know who you're dealing with, and guys, it is important to know that you are dealing with a great dealership and buying a good quality vehicle, and we are going to look after you from start to finish. So please don't hesitate to call us, get more information on the vehicle, or even come and book a test drive. Once again, if you have any questions, 990-70555 is the number to dial. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.